Hey, this is Adam with South Coast Yachts. I'm here at the Newport International Boat Show, first boat show on the West Coast in three years. And I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the brand new Beneteau Swift Trawler 48. So let's hop on before all the crowds get here and give you a quick look at this boat. All right, so we'll just get a quick view of the outside of the boat here on the uh, Swift Trawler 48. This is a 2023 model, brand new. This boat is available at South Coast Yachts. Just taking a look at the starboard side here. You got opening port lights in the forward cabins. You see the little pass-through door on the rail right here. You'll have the helm station in, inside right on the starboard side there as well. Got a nice big swim platform. That is an electronic swim platform that lowers into the water. And as we walk over here, you'll see the, uh, the dinghy chocks. So you can lower the platform down, float your dinghy onto the dinghy chocks, lift it back up and secure the dinghy down and away you go. You do have a nice boarding ladder here off the starboard side of the swim platform. And of course, it's always nice to lower this platform, put a couple chairs here, and sit half submerged in the water. As we step on board, kind of look into the aft cockpit. You got nice guardrails, excuse the uh, vacuum noise there. Nice guardrails here to keep you nice and protected. Well, inside and underway. You have the stairs or ladder leading up to the flybridge. This does fold away nicely and tuck away so it frees up space in the cockpit here. You have storage under these lazarettes. They're all full of gear right now because we, uh, we are at the boat show, but you do have the generator down here. And then your access to the engines will be under the floor in the main cabin here. But before we step inside the main salon here, the main cabin, just continue the tour outside. So you get a nice set tee in the cockpit. A few cup holders on the rail over here. Nice big heavy duty cleats. You do have your uh, hot water or hot and cold water, fresh water shower. And then you have a pass through up on the port side. High railing all around so you're nice and safe and secure while underway. And then as we look at the entrance here, this opens up all the way, so it just gives you good indoor and outdoor living all at once. And of course, this will all slide down and close up. And then you have your main pass through here, going forward to the boat. As you see, we have the helm station right here, and then we have an access door right here. So when you are docking this boat, it's really nice. You can control everything right from the starboard side. You have great visibility all around. Take a quick look at the helm station. So as you see, I'm standing right here where I can walk and step right off onto the dock when I pull up and I have control of my bow thrusters and my throttles, easy reach. And then coming through, up onto the bow, getting really big lounge area, really comfortable built-in cup holders. You do have this pocket right here to open up so you can open up that hatch while leaving the cushions there. Nice teak seat right here up on the bow pulpit, double anchor roller and heavy duty Lumar electric windlass. You view down into your anchor locker. Here's your windlass controls. And then you will have control from the helm station to lower and raise the anchor with a chain counter on it. Use the other side, just extra storage. And we look around here, you got a big spotlight on the front there. Kind of get a view of the flybridge and the, uh, the hard top with the retractable opening there so you can get some sunlight through the hard top when needed. And then as you walk around, you see from that helm station, you do have great visibility, 360 degree view on the boat. So we'll come down the port side. You got really high railings. This is about waist high on me, so you feel nice and safe and secure. Beautiful teak slatted board work. And then as we come down the, the teak stairs here, we'll bring you inside. So to just take a quick look at the uh, kind of vanity on the starboard side here, you have good bottle storage. And then just all the storage for your plateware, everything you need here. 
Here's an ice maker. This is an option on the boat. USB plug and 110, and then more storage underneath here. Uh, your uh, water maker down there. We'll spin around here, and I do apologize if this video moves fast, just trying to make good use of time before the crowds come. Got storage under the sink with trash. Nice, big, deep stainless steel sink. Beautiful Corian countertops. More storage. Storage and I believe a spot for the microwave if, uh, if you want to get a microwave. You got your two burner induction stove and oven. Oh, there's your microwave oven. I apologize. You got full size fridge and freezer. We move up into the main salon seating area. You got plenty of room. You can fold this out, turn the helm station around so it's facing, and then you can easily seat eight people around here comfortably. This table does lower and fold out and lower with a filler cushion. So you can have this as a, another double bed. And then as you see here, these curtains will run around on this track and they act as privacy curtains. We'll spin around here. We'll take a quick look at the helm station. So really comfortable wraparound captain's chair. Again, you know, you have the great access to step out and get right onto the dock if you are uh, operating this boat shorthanded or single-handed. You have all your ship's controls here. You got speakers. You got your electric throttle. You got your trim tab controls, bow thrusters, bow and stern thrusters, sorry. Here's a remote control for your autopilot. And then your autopilot repeater, all your switches for all your systems. And then you got two big Raymarine charpolatas here and your ship control. And then all of your gauges, compass, and a nice big area for storage up here. Looking down onto the port side, you got your fusion head unit for your stereo that is Bluetooth. And then this is not turned on, but that would be a your TV lift right here. I think you can fit up to a 40 inch flat screen in there. And then extra reading lights on the port side here. See so this leather is in great condition. Feels really soft and nice. Just dropping down a couple of stairs here. As we come into the port side, here is your guest cabin. Right now you have two single beds, but there is a filler cushion for this that you can make this one big queen bed. And you have great lighting. You do have opening portholes there so you can get some nice ventilation. You have your own uh, climate control in here, reading lights, and then nice big locker and storage here. Got kind of storage tucked up everywhere. Spin around looking forward in this cabin. You have access to the, uh, to the guest head, the shared guest head. Give you a quick view of this. Beautiful sink. Separate shower stall. And then your electric head that's plumbed into fresh water. And again, more opening port lights so you can get some ventilation in here. Well, actually we'll go out the door into the companionway here. Again, there's looking aft to the main salon. Looking starboard into the VIP guest room. So here you have a big double bed. Lots of room for your feet back there. Good headroom. Again, opening port lights and just a ton of storage everywhere. There's all your uh, main breakers, inverter control. And then great use of space for storage. As you see right now, we have all the life jackets stashed in there. And then we'll step back out, we'll close this bathroom door. 
and we'll walk into the master cabin. Tons of headroom. This is probably, I'm six foot tall and I got at least another six inches above my head here. You got a nice island style bed with access to both starboard and port. So you can just swing your legs off the side of the bed. You do have USB, your light controls, reading lights up forward there. All of these cupboards up here, this is all storage. Opening port lights. And of course there are uh, blackout shades that you can pull down to uh, block out the light or have some privacy if you need. And then again, you got a nice big hanging locker to port. You, if you're looking aft, this is where you would mount your 28 or maybe even a 32 inch flat screen TV. We close the main cabin door here, full size mirror. And then as we open it up, here is the master head. Again, it's got its own separate shower stall. A nice deep sink, mirror, port light, and then a, a large electric freshwater flushing head. And you do have an overhead hatch in here. And then to starboard of the bed, you have more storage, the shelving in here. And then under the, there is under the bunk storage as well. So this boat is loaded up with plenty of space to store your gear. Here is that forward hatch. As you see, you can have it on privacy mode where you open that up. You can have fresh air flowing through. We do have the, uh, the cushion up there, but as you saw, that opens up. And then you also have a bug screen if needed. And forward of the bulkhead here would be your anchor locker and that, uh, that other storage up there. Let's walk on back to the main salon. We'll take you up to the flybridge. This is uh, some carpeting that comes standard with the boat. It is an option, but if you unbutton that, you do have nice wood flooring underneath. As we walk out to the aft cockpit, we will go up the ladder to the flybridge. So a really gentle sloping ladder, easy to climb up and down. Our first kind of glance up here is you have great space up here. You have all this aft deck up on the flybridge for storage. You do have, uh, this is where your life raft would rest, right in here. And then as we look back here, here is your, you have your grill, you have your sink. Sorry, that went out of focus. Under here, you got trash and fridge. And some nice working space. Coming around, again, tons of headroom under this uh, hard top. This does open up so you can get some sunlight or some, some ventilation through here. Ventilation, what am I talking about? I'm off my flybridge. But you do have great uh, cushions all around. Nice large dinette here. This folds out. And again, you can easily seat eight up here. Great place to uh, dine in the evening. Then you have your upper helm station. So you have the wraparound captain's chair that's really comfortable. This of course spins around. You have the, the extra chair here for the crew. This will lift up and fold forward so you can lounge backwards onto here and or seat more people. Same with the double seat here. So this backrest will lift up and then slide forward so you can be lounging back this way. And then just check out a visibility. For, let's get right up to the helm station here. Check out the visibility all around. Get a good view of what's happening at the uh, Newport International Boat Show here. Got the South Coast Yachts crew down there getting ready for all the guests. We have our uh, GT41, our GT45, and an Oceanus 51.1 right behind the GT45 there. But I digress, let's go back to the helm station here. Here you do see you have your Plastimo, compass, all your gauges. You have your chart plotters. And all of your switches, trim tabs. You have your electric throttle. You have your balanced stern thrusters. 
VHF radio control there, autopilot repeater. Again, this is the Swift Trawler 48. It's gonna be a really popular boat. This is the one of the first ones in North America. So I'm happy to give you this quick tour before the show fires off. I hope you enjoyed that really short, quick tour of the Beneteau Swift Trawler 48. If you are interested in, in if you are interested in more information about this vessel, please feel free to reach out to me by email at adam at scyachts.com or you can call me anytime on 949-973-4812. This particular boat is available now. It is at our docks uh, in San Diego and you can come down and have a look at it. Um, and we do have a Beneteau Spring sales incentive going on right now. So if you're interested in more information on that, again, reach out to me and I'd be more than happy to uh, give you whatever details you need. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.